Okay, it's recording. It is super tilted, is it not? <laughs> I'm a disgruntled Eagles fan, and we're awesome. So, when, this is the reaction. Oh, wait. <laughs> kind of the reaction. Kind of. So, hey, hey, disgruntled. This is quote unquote the reaction of Wentz going to the fucking Colts for absolutely nothing. So, we got lots to say, but little time to do so. Yeah. Not really. We got all day. You can you sit here all day. I know. Okay, then we have little time to do so. But. Wentz got traded about an hour or so ago, two hours ago, and Adam Shefty reported so, and mm -hmm. Carson Wentz is going to the Indianapolis Colts for a third round pick and a second conditional round 2022 pick, but he has the option of, we, the Eagles have the option of getting a first round pick if either of these two options happen. One, Wentz plays 75% of the snaps, or two, Wentz plays seventy percent of the snaps plus makes make it to the playoffs. Um, mm -hmm. The Eagles do, in fact, get a first round pick. So it all depends on how Wentz does and how long he um, plays for and amount of snaps he has. But I guess it, I, I don't know. I I feel like a third round pick is good enough now. I guess the future picks it all depends on how well he does. And if we do end up getting a first round pick, then I feel like it's worth it. Even a second round is kind of good because we usually do pretty good in the second round, or the, at least the Eagles do. The Eagles are only good at drafting a top, in the top 10 first round pick, which is like super easy to do, and in the second round because both Miles Sanders and Dallas Goddard came in the second round. So high hopes there. But my belief in Holly Roseman has dwindled. But what are your first initial reactions to it? Uh, it's just another good day for the Colts Nation. Bleeding blue. The horseshoe for the for the shoe. Cause Chris Ballard does what he does. He just manipulates the whole cap system. He drafts well. And he he looks a team dead in the eye as like this is the offer and I'm holding. And that was the whole situation these past weeks. He he came up with an offer, everyone knew it. Eagles even tried to fucking spill the beans and tell the media like, yo, this is what they're trying to do. And therefore, we're going to try and shop elsewhere. Hopefully, teams will rise. And no. Ballard gave them basically their best option, even though it's not as much as the Eagles wanted. And they eventually, they were just like, fuck, we have to take it before the offer's off the table. And they decided to move elsewhere. So Wentz, obviously, is probably as good as we could have done in this offseason as of this point. Uh, Matthew Stafford's gone. No way Deshaun Watson's coming to the Colts. Texans would never let that happen. I mean, if... Deshaun Watson does get traded, which is not the most likely thing, really. He might uproot a different quarterback, maybe like Tua, and we could go after that. But, like, I feel like we should obviously go with the guy who has proven to have a high ceiling, has played at a high caliber, even if he's had one bad year, and has familiarity with the system that Frank Reich has. So I just feel like that was, like, the obvious answer after Matthew Stafford was already picked up. So Because trading up in the draft, because we're not going to get a good quarterback in our fucking 20th pick or wherever it is. If we were to trade up in the draft, it would probably take a lot more of our currency than what we got for once. So this is overall just like the best decision that could have been made. And obviously it was this weird standstill for a while. No one was sure if it was going through or not. And uh, even the Bears were saying that they had it on lock at one point for yeah. Foles or whatever. Mm -hmm. And it's like, I don't know who made those rumors, but clearly Wentz's heart was with the Colts anyways, and Bears weren't going to go for that if if that was true, so. Yeah, the rumor is that Wentz said that he didn't want to be on the Bears, and so the Bears retracted their offer, but the original offer was Nick Foles, Nick Foles, Tyreek Colt Cohen, and a first-round pick, all for Carson Wentz, and that's a better deal as of now than what Colts are giving us, but until the future holds because a third and a first round pick, if that does happen, I feel is better than what Bears are offering anyway because more draft capital or whatever. But this is probably Carson Wentz's biggest year in the NFL. This is the prove it year. See if he can still have the capabilities as he did in the three year stint with the Eagles when he did super well. And this is, prob this is the biggest prove it deal for him because 
If he doesn't do well, then all the rumors of, about his bad season were true or his bad, like, reminiscence of that bad season carries on. And then, yeah, Colts kind of get stuck with a four-year, $98 million contract. And I don't know what they would do if Wentz does have a bad couple of years, but I don't think he will because Wentz is a top 10, top 15 QB in the league. When he's playing elite, obviously he wasn't last year. He was bottom half in the league with 15 interceptions, but that was not all of his he was fault. Bottom five, dude. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, he just d didn't play well, but that's not all of his fault. I mean, yeah, um, he did make obviously bad decisions throughout last year, but he didn't have an offensive line. He didn't have re um, wide receivers, and he didn't have a coaching staff that supported him. So obviously he's going to do bad. But hopefully, new coaches, new team, a crap ton better offensive line. He's less injury prone than the Eagles. I think Wentz is going to do really well. The first four seasons of Wentz, he broke records in his first year as a quarterback in his rookie year. Um, and he made an 11-2 season the next very next year. So he has talent. He has MVP caliber. He just has to prove it next season because last season you know is the last like image that we were left with with Wentz so that's why it's one of the biggest prove it deals to see if he still has that raw talent which I think he does because his mental stance is going to be a lot better since he's on a new team and he really likes the Colts yeah I just feel like his whole personality or and just stigma is going to change drastically and next year for the Eagles which is going to suck is the biggest dead cap space like record in the entire league at, I think $31.8 million in dead cap space, meaning that the Eagles have to pay for the first year that Wentz is on the Colts, um, except for like bonuses and stuff that the Colts will pay. But the Eagles are going to still be paying Carson Wentz's contract next year at $31.8 million. That leaves the Colts with a four-year $98 million contract, which is sounds really pricey, but it, for a franchise quarterback, and especially if he does really well next year and a couple of years after, it's more than worth it to have a four-year $98 million contract because of seeing other like Russell Wilson's contract, Patrick Mahomes contract, four-year $98 million is relatively cheap with this new age of quarterbacks being overpriced for less talent. And I feel like if Wentz does, like I said, have prove it, make it to the playoffs and it's well-deserved with contract that it, the Colts will be paying. Um, if Colts miss a playoff berth, it is because of two reasons. One, injuries. Wentz gets injured, John Taylor gets injured, Darius Leonard and fucking Frank Reich dies. That's like the <laughs> only way I could see Colts like missing the playoffs. The other way is if like fucking Trevor Lawrence just fucking pops off <laughs> 15 and 2 season <laughs> for kicked out of our own division. Like, uh, yeah, that's the only way I can fucking see, like, it's basically just two impossible scenarios. I don't know, I don't, like, all Wentz has to do is play average. Yeah. And I'll be happy. And I think he's going to play a little bit above average, just because of what I, the throws I've seen him throw and the types of plays. But if he can reach that level, then I feel like he's easily a top 10 quarterback, but this has to prove it. Um, it's just this next year is very crucial for his career. The one thing I do hate when people say is that Carson Wentz is injury prone. That's like the most irritating thing. I mean, he, do he does have a lot of injuries on his record. I'll admit that, but his first season in the NFL, he played all 16 games, a freak accident with a torn ACL the next. Um, the only like if he bad injury, you could say that he was really injury prone is the next season after that when he had back issues and had to leave the end of that season. But then those that was the only real like injury proneness that he has. And then when he played in his first playoff game, the next to Seahawks, a dirty hit by Clowney made him go out with a concussion. But other than that, he played all 16 games that year. And he's played all of his games this past year except for being benched, which is... Um, not injury related and the all another issue with Wentz that I can see or two issues with Wentz as of now I can see being a problem on the Colts is lack of leadership he has potential to be a great leader he has like the skills to it but I don't think he's at that point where he can say he's a great leadership he still needs to improve in that area and then lack of playoff experience he's only played in one playoff game and he got hurt 
before halftime, so he doesn't really have an entirely full playoff game in his books. So lack of playoff experience and then lack of leadership are the two flaws with Wentz as of now. And then obviously some of the bad decisions that he made last season, but I feel like that's a fluke because four out of the five seasons he's been in the NFL, he's played really well and carried the Eagles to the playoffs three years in a row. Terrible ride receivers and terrible supporting staff. And I always bring up this stat, but he's the first player to reach 4,000 passing yards with none of his receivers hitting 500 mm -hmm. receiving yards. So that's due to him spreading the ball and then injuries on the wide receiver aspect. Yeah. I will also say uh, it's a kind of a hard scenario for him walking into the Colts organization to try and be a leader because we just lost Philip Rivers, who is one of the greatest leaders in the league ever, just like the way he played the game. Very similar to like Matthew Stafford's like resilience and stuff like that, just the way he they are like natural born leaders. That's like one of their best qualities. Mm. And then also Jacoby Brissett just is he's not going to return to the Colts. And he was our man of the year candidate this past season and he was a starter for a whole season like always coming onto the field despite being a bench player whenever they're doing a touchdown celebration. He was always there for the team. So Wentz has a lot to prove. Obviously, I know he has a lot of favor within the Colts player base. Like, they, a lot of the Colts players have already reached out to him and congratulated him. And even DeForest Buckner said he loved him and, like, really hoped that he would be on the team eventually. So still, it's not like he has big shoes to fill because I'm sure DeForest Buckner and Darius Leonard will take over as, like, the main leaders of the team. T.Y. probably if he comes back because uh, defenses are, like, our pride and joy. So I don't think he has, like super big shoes to fill just from that aspect like he doesn't need to be the leader it's not like we lack leadership but it's just like if he tries to come in and like replace Brissett and Phil Rivers it's, still, it's just not gonna happen like I think he should just like you know kind of relax on that aspect and hopefully earn the trust slowly with the team rather than trying to take control quickly so I guess the last thing I would say is that I don't I wouldn't be surprised if Carson Wentz struggles a little bit his first year just with a new team and learning a playbook. Not like struggling too bad, but like not as much as we've seen him like his best. He would probably be back half of the league and or back half of the quarterback ranking to start out. But like you said, being average is all the Colts need as of now. And I wouldn't be surprised if he gradually gotten better and continued to got better to get better on the Colts as he grows and matures and just learns more about football. Even though he's already, what, like 28 years old? I mean, it's still like, it's getting to the point where he's starting to get old, but he's still kind of young, younger than some of the, a lot younger than some of these quarterbacks in the league, but he's getting up there in age. And I think that's just because he came into the league late. I think he came into the league at like 24. So like he already entered the league lead pretty old. I think he just has a lot of room to improve and grow and I'm just excited to see him on the Colts and I wouldn't want him to go on any other team except for the Colts just because of Frank Wright and just the team aspect as it, uh, as of now. They have a lot of potential. Great they, unit. Great unit. They made the playoffs at 11 and 5 and can only go up from there. So yeah, a lot of potential and I'm excited to see how he does and I'm going to be rooting for the Colts next year. 12-5 season, baby. 12-4. No, there's 17. Oh, there is? That's why everyone's saying is it could be as soon as next season, and everyone's saying it's going to happen. Like, I don't know. Oh. So. That would be weird. Yeah, it would be. I'm yeah. just mentally preparing myself for that starting now. Is that why you said 15-2? and two? Yeah. I was, I was confused. I was going to correct you <laughs> on that, but I just, it wasn't worth, like, you know. But then, like, you... Trevor Lawrence, Jesus Christ. Yeah. Trevor well, I mean, Lawrence and Deshaun Watson in the same division, though. That would be disgusting. And then, you know, Titans, Derrick Henry, fuck. That would be such a hard division to win it. <laughs> We're so lucky their defenses are ass, man. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. <laughs> Alright, so yeah, I'm going to end... Uh, this video here. Yeah, that's the reaction to Wentz being traded to the Colts by an Eagles fan and a Colts fan. Yes. Um, we always make the joke too that it's going to be the Indianapolis Eagles and mm -hmm. Philadelphia Colts because we're just swapping all the Yeah, time. swapping the coaching staff. We got the coaching staff from the Colts and Colts have Frank Wright, Frank Wright which is a coach, but like Eagles too. If Earth enters up on the Colts, but oh well. But thanks for watching. Thank you.
Thank you.